Domestic outbursts are one of the most traumatizing and heartbreaking things that any child could ever witness. No child wants to see their parents fighting and hurting each other. And that's why this little girl called 911 to report that her dad was hurting her mom. But what happened next was something that no one could have ever expected. And it was all caught on tape. Angela and Daniel Luke met while they were both studying at Ohio State University. They had been married for over 18 years and had two daughters, 12-year-old Alexa and 9-year-old Addison. They lived in the suburbs of Canal Winchester, Ohio, where Angela worked as a second grade teacher at Tussing Elementary School, where she had taught for over 11 years, while Daniel was a vice president at a bank, but mostly worked from his home office. For an outsider looking in, they seemed like a really nice and happy family, holding birthday parties and barbecues at their home and going to church together on Sundays. However, things were not as great as they seemed for Daniel and Angela. According to their daughter Alexa, the couple had been fighting a lot over the past years, but it had never gotten that bad. On October 4th, 2015, the police received this harrowing 911 call from Alexa, crying and begging the police to come over to her house and stop her dad from hurting her mom. The 17-minute phone call is really hard to listen to, as you can literally hear the fear in Alexa's voice as she describes the terrifying things happening in her house to the dispatcher. You could hear screaming and shouting in the background as the parents fought, and the girls cried and begged their dad to leave their mom alone. But through all this, the dispatcher was calm and collected and managed to keep Alexa talking on the phone as she waited for the police. He's physically hurting your mom. He's bending her to my bed and he's making more to my mom. You know what they're fighting about? Everything! In the house, the situation was getting worse by the minute, but somehow Angela managed to escape from her abusive husband and quickly ran out of the house, taking her daughters with her. But Daniel was right behind her, and he pushed into a large flower pot at the door, and Angela fell and hurt her arm. You're leaving? Yes. Oh my God! Oh my God. What's going on? Can you tell me what happened, honey? Finally, Angela and her daughters were able to get into the car, but still, Daniel was not letting them leave. He tried stopping them by hanging onto the car and trying to open the doors. Oh my God, no, he just pushed her. He pushed her really hard, and she fell again. We were all outside. Oh, I'm not really hurt your arm. Dad, get off me. Get off my mommy. Are you guys know what it's here? It's really bad. Can 
you imagine how scary this must have been for Alexa and her sister? This was a side of their dad that they had never seen before and definitely didn't want to be around. Alexa begged her mom to drive faster. And then, what you hear next is unbelievably heartbreaking. Angela and her daughters quickly got out of the car and ran to get help from a nearby neighbor. The neighbor told the dispatcher that Daniel was bleeding from his ears but was still alive. When the police arrived moments later, Daniel was rushed to the hospital where he died from massive head injuries. The police collected several pieces of evidence from the Luke's home which gave some insights as to what happened that night leading to Daniel's death. They took some pieces of blood-soaked bed sheets that they found in the parents' and children's bedrooms, as well as two cell phones, one from the nightstand in the master bedroom and the other from the black BMW that Angela was driving. They also impounded the car collection of more physical evidence. The domestic dispute is reportedly believed to have started at 8 p.m. that Sunday and continued until 9.10 p.m. By the time Alexa was calling 911, the fight had been going on for a while. There's no information as to what really exactly caused Daniel to go off like that, but from his daughter's 911 call, it's clear that alcohol played a big role. Luckily, none of the children were injured, but Angela had several cuts and bruises. When detectives interviewed Angela, she confirmed that she and Daniel had an altercation and that she was trying to get away from him with their children, but he wouldn't let her go. She said that she and her daughters managed to get into her BMW and had started to go down their long driveway when Daniel held on to the car. She said that she stopped when her youngest daughter yelled and she heard a thump. When she got out to check, she found that Daniel had fallen beneath the wheel and was bleeding from his head. Despite the fact that there was a 911 call from her daughter that collaborated with her story, the police still arrested Angela and charged her with aggravated vehicular homicide and reckless homicide. And as if that's not enough, she was also put on unpaid suspension from her job until the investigation was completed, which would have taken a month. New at 5.30, a popular elementary school teacher is facing charges for the death of her husband in Fairfield County. A chilling 911 call from the couple's daughter paints a disturbing picture of domestic violence. As you can imagine, Angela's family and friends were completely devastated, especially her daughters who had just watched their dad die, and now they were about to lose their mom. A lot of people were outraged by this and demanded to know why Angela was being arrested when she clearly was just defending herself and her daughters. An organization in Ohio that supports victims of domestic abuse was very critical of how the police handled the situation, saying that this would discourage other victims from coming forward and seeking help because they'll be afraid that they may be the ones in trouble instead of the person hurting them. Which I think, to me, would have a chilling effect on who you're going to reach out for for help. And yet, reaching out for that help could very well save your life and the life of your children. Sadly, this is a concern that many people who are being hurt by their spouses face every day. In fact, it has been estimated that four in five women are too terrified to come forward and report their experiences because they are ashamed or afraid that nothing would be done to their abusers. And sadly, this is usually the case because according to prosecutors, domestic violence cases are some of the most difficult cases to investigate because most times it's usually her word against his and investigators say that injuries don't always tell the whole story, which is really frustrating. But still, reporting cases like this is the only way that you can actually stop them. In Angela's case, the police said there were no previous reports of domestic violence filed against Luke, so probably she had been going through all of the abuse and harassment silently for years before that night. <laughs> Following her arrest, her friends and colleagues showed their support by starting a petition to demand her release. 
They also opened a Facebook page and a GoFundMe account where they managed to raise over $5,000 before it was closed. Angela pleaded not guilty to the charges and was released on a $25,000 unsecured appearance bond. An unsecured appearance bond is a type of bail in which the accused makes a written promise to appear in court. The bond will also contain the accused unsecured promise to pay a certain amount if they fail to appear as required. If found guilty of the charges, Angela was facing a minimum of three years in prison for each charge. But luckily, things did not get that far because the 911 recording, which by now had gone viral, showed everyone what really happened that night and that she did nothing wrong. After listening to the recording, the school agreed to give her back her job and the prosecution also dropped the charges, saying they didn't have enough evidence to convict her. And our other top story tonight, charges dropped and suspension lifted. Tucson Elementary School teacher Angela Luke has now been reinstated by the Pickerington Local School District. Now, this all began out of a violent domestic dispute at Luke's home in Fairfield County Sunday night. Luke is accused of running over her husband, Daniel, while trying to get away from him. Last night, NBC4 was the first to report that the district had reversed its decision not to pay her while she was on mandatory suspension. Then, just a few hours later, the homicide charges were dropped. NBC4's Harrison Hove has been following all the developments on this case. He's live in Pickerington tonight with continuing coverage there. Harrison? Cabot, for the very first time, we are hearing from a student in Miss Luke's second grade class right here at Tusing Elementary, as well as her parent, and both say they can't wait for their teacher to return to this school. Seven-year-old Haley tells me her whole class is missing Miss Luke. Her mother, Brittany Byer, says she felt Angela Luke should have never been charged. It was clear self-defense. She didn't mean to do it. She was trying to get away. I just don't believe she should have been charged first place. I'm extremely glad they did drop the charges and they are going to welcome her back. Tucson Elementary School Principal Matt Dansby said Luke is a fantastic teacher. Dansby says Luke has the full support of teachers and staff at this school. She has been a support for everybody else as well, so she deserves to have all the support she's getting now. Luke's attorney also released a statement today following this news. Attorney Jonathan Tyak says, quote, on behalf of Angela Luke, her daughters, and her entire family, we want to thank all those in Central Ohio community and across the nation who have shown their unwavering support for Angela throughout this most difficult time. That includes Haley, who can't wait to see her teacher in class again soon. I really miss her a lot, and I wish if she comes back soon. Usually when she um, bees really nice to us and gives us candy on Friday. It's really hard to imagine that had it not been for Alexa making that call, Angela would have ended up in prison for nothing. Daniel's funeral was held just over a week after his death and was attended by all his family and friends, including Angela and her daughters. His brother, David, would later say in an interview that Daniel was super committed to his family and was not the type to get angry quickly. If there were any issues at home, David said that his brother always worked to resolve things peacefully. He said that he believed that his brother must have snapped that night and that that was not the brother he knew. Since 2015, there has not been any more information on this case and Angela and her daughters have been staying under the radar probably trying to forget everything that happened that night. What do you think about this case? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.